What's up everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with Plug and Boutique and I've got a quick tip tutorial for XO by XLN Audio. This one's gonna be on how to use chokes or mute groups inside of the sequencer. So a choke or a mute group is a way for different sequence lanes to react to one another. And the most common use for that would be an open hi-hat being closed when the closed hi-hat comes on. So I have a pretty simple pattern here. I've got my hi-hat and I've got an open hi-hat here. CL stands for close, OP for open. Now, if I just come in here and click right here and right here, you can hear how that open hi-hat is riding out. The tail of that open hat actually goes over these two closed hi-hats in the same down here at the end of the sequence. But if you think about an actual drum kit, an open hat is when the two symbols are spread apart. And then to get a closed hat, you have to put those symbols together to hit it. And that's gonna give you the closed hi-hat. So uh, in reality, in a real sort of drum kit, having that open hat ride out over those closed ones wouldn't be possible. So a way to mimic that is by using mute groups. Inside of the sequencer, this dash right here is where you'll find the mute groups. If I click right here and choose mute group one, I'll get one dot. And if I do that here as well, now these two will actually react to one another and watch what happens to that open hi-hat's tail. So if I close that and actually put it right here, we'll actually be able to hear it a little bit more distinctly. So that's the most traditional way of using a mute group. However, we can also use it using some bass as well. So let me come down here and add some big 808 hits to the bass line. So right now that bass hit is going from here to here and then it's closing and then getting re-triggered. And another really cool thing is if I hit this P right here, it'll actually double up and change the pitch. Is that not cool? So I'm going to actually go ahead and close that off. What this P does is actually sets up a mute group inside of the sequencer itself. So I want this sequence to be closed whenever a new kick happens to give me sort of a groove. So what I want to do here is create another mute group. And we have up to four mute groups here. So I'm going to go two. And again, we can see the two dots. Two there. And now we're getting more of a groove because that bass hit, that big 808, is getting closed by this kick. So we can actually start making some cooler patterns if we wanted to. And actually by clicking this down here, we'll actually get a double hit or a roll. So that's what mute groups are all about. And that's really what I wanted to show you in this tutorial. But before I jump out of here, I also want to point out that you can take um, any one of these sections right here or any one of these triggered sequence nodes. If you click and pull down, you'll actually change the velocity of that note. And then if I click right here, for example, I'm changing the velocity and I'm adding in a roll in the middle here and I'm going to get a better kind of groovier sound. And that's just a little bonus tip that I wanted to share with you right there. So anyway, that's all about mute groups and how to set them up and use them properly inside of XO by XLN Audio. I'm Joshua Casper here for Plugin Boutique. I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next video.